all right y'all um here's the build on the iGo W14 it's very definitely a triple coil atomizer um, was a little difficult getting this in there uh, but it's not a hard build at all I'm messing a little bit with orientation here um, have all of the wires pulled up through through at least two holes well two holes on the center post there are three holes in the center post so each wire goes in one comes out the one next to it um, the side terminals the negative terminals on this the screws could use to have just a little larger head on them uh, even so I've been able to get them down and get them tightened uh, not at all unhappy with it it's just a little difficult to get there at this point I think what I'm going to do is trim some of these wires off stop the video put this thing on a mod and start squeezing coils together these are 16 wraps on of 26 gauge canthal uh, should come out in the 0.6 ohm area uh, want to run it on my my 730 the 730 doesn't like anything below 0.5 um, and if anybody who is in charge of shipping my T5 out to me could get it on out here it would work really good to uh, fire this build up um, gonna stop the video and restart with it on a mod man well as long as you're in here let's go ahead and trim get hold of my thing I'm gonna have to trim these back quite a ways so that they don't catch the inner sleeve as I put it on I it was very careful to make sure that I could trim back far enough on all of the negative terminal wires so that it wouldn't hit the inner sleeve when I put it on uh, the center post is a little flaky but not I mean it's not hard it's just going to be difficult to get the trim done uh, because there is you know there is a good wire coming out to the coil right alongside the one that I'm trimming so I'm going to have to catch one and not the other or I'm going to cut a coil loose and that will just make me less than happy. Two and here is the third one. Um, fairly clean build. I think I've left enough room out here on these sides to be able to push my once I have these squeezed together and pulled in where I want them and orientated correctly I think I've left enough room to bring my wick through and down into the well here and into the well here with each coil so the coils will be feeding from both ends Let's get it on a mod. Let's squeeze these coils together and let's see what we come up with. All right uh, See you in a bit. All right now we got it on a mod um, 730 is just a little underpowered for this. Uh, it did come in at 0.6 ohms um, To pulse it a little bit to get it up there and get them red starting to squeeze the coils together and that'll help some that'll help generate some heat and it is actually doing pretty good as it sits right now get in here and squeeze this one together a little bit it's always interesting that when you squeeze one of these together the 
the needle nose pliers acts as a heat sink and then that's going to be the last one to heat up again. Um, so you just got to keep working your way around until you get all the coils just exactly the way you want them. Um, eh, batteries dropping down to 3.8 on this. Now I've been vaping it most of the afternoon sitting here. I gotta tell you, I'm having a little trouble with the MNKE batteries. Um, they don't seem to like this 730 mod. I'm uh, gonna have to find something a little different. If anybody's got any ideas, drop me a PM. Uh, I'd sure like to know why my MNKEs are not liking this mod. I've failed a lot of MNKE batteries on this mod. It's like it doesn't like the 30 watts. Um, it, uh, they seem to work just fine down 15, 20 watts, get up to 30 watts, you know, and they should be able to deal with that. I mean, it's a regulated mod. Um, it's using capacitors to, 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 to bring that temperature up there, or to bring that, that voltage up to it. I, I'm not quite sure why this is eating MNKE batteries. Uh, I thought they'd probably be the absolute best for it. I bought quite a few. Um, at this point, I've only got two of the 12 that I bought that will uh, work in the mod at all. Um, as you can see, we're starting to we're starting to get red. It's just a little underpowered for this build. Uh, that said, I'm a patient man for a really really good vape. Uh, glowing from the outside in. And we're going to give it just near pulse and get it up there a little bit. I'd like to see those coils heat up clear out to the ends. Um, this is going to be an interesting wick job to do also. Uh, we're getting there. About got them positioned where I want them now. Too. I, I, you know me, I'm into some unconventional builds. Um, wow, mod's really not liking this. This is getting quite warm on the back side. I'm pushing this thing pretty hard to get these coils. I'm going to have to let the mod cool off. Um, get the last one squeezed together here, and I think I like it. I'm going to switch batteries and we're going to let the mod cool. I feel like right now on the back side of this mod, um, opposite the button, which is I believe where the chip is probably sitting, uh, it's getting warm to the touch. And I'm not sure that's good for the chip. It's too bad this doesn't have an over temp protection in it. Um, that's the build. We'll pause the video. I'll pull some some wicking through there. Uh, I got a couple of them I need to move just a little bit to get the wicking where I want it to go. But I think I'm going to have room to get my wicking down. I'm planning on wicking it with rayon. Um, sell you cotton rayon. That's weird, isn't it? Sell you cotton rayon, rayon, cotton, eh, whatever. Um, I'm going to pull some of that stuff through there and we'll see what we can come up with. Uh, back in a bit. All right, here we are. We're wicked up. Um, I know now why you can buy sell you cotton in thousand foot boxes. Sell you cotton rayon in thousand foot boxes because you can put twenty feet of it in this thing. <laughs> Only kidding. Only kidding. This thing takes a wad of wicking. Uh, it's huge. There's just a big hole in there. Um, while I'm reaching for my cloud juice to start pouring, I, you know, I got a full bottle. It's probably going to take most of the bottle. We figured out that this thing holds three milliliters. Um, probably don't have the optimum coil setup on this. I'm a little tight on these corners. Uh, when I put the inner sleeve on, I think that's going to be a little tight. 
on those wicks and might starve it coming up the back side a little bit. Um, that said, there's a pool of it down there. I, I'm still dripping. I'm still dripping. Uh, and I still see dry cellucotton down there. Um, <laughs> and I'm not even dripping. I'm pouring in this thing. I, I'm sure that it's going to hold a milliliter and a half or two milliliters. Okay, now we're starting to saturate up here at the top. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know. Don't ever dry it out with half a bottle left because it'll take the rest of the bottle to fill it up. Um, let me lay my hands on the other two parts to this thing and see how I want to line up my air holes with my coils. About there. I'd like that air to come over the top of the coil. I uh, just want to see the edge of the cellucotton at each of the air holes. Uh, so, it'll, so as I pull air, it'll pull it across the top of that coil. Um, We'll line this one up now. I'm going to set it on there firmly. And I hope right in the right spot. Yep. It's getting tall, isn't it? i got to back this thing up a little bit. That's, eh, that's as far up as far back as it goes. Um, you want to see what it does? We want to fire it. Ooh. It's going to take a while. Ah, it's starting to come. There it goes, starting to come. Wow. This 30 watt mod is playing bloody hell. Making vapor with this thing. It's just not enough to fire it. Uh, it's just not enough. This is going to require 50 watts. Any way you look at it. Um probably should really uh, see if I can put it on a mechanical but again I'm not going to get any more wattage right now I'm using capacitors to fire this thing um, there's just not enough oomph and this could well be partly due to my MNKE battery problems um, one of these coils is crudding up pretty quick over here I'm not tremendously impressed with how this is working. Um, but I am going to move some wicking around. Oh yeah, see, okay, I'm finally saturated. Saturation has, saturation point has been reached. Um, probably need to pull this off the side of the coil a little bit. Uh, I don't have anything else sitting on the sides of coils. That one was sitting on the side of the coil. I don't know why. But I need to pull that down in there just a little bit. Um, let's put the outer sleeve on and see if that helps hold some of the heat and keeps it wicking or keeps it warmer and will let it fire a little better. Put the outer sleeve on see if that helps hold some of the heat. Point six ohms. Um, not terribly impressive at this point, but it's sure not, certainly not the atomizer's fault, and I think the build is is okay. Um, I just flat don't have enough power right now to push this thing. Uh, I did not put a fresh battery in. Um, still says it's running 30 watts at 4.5 volts uh, going to the atomizer. Uh, that's just not well, now, close that chamber up. She starts acting like she wants to vape. There's the build. Uh, a little more video for you later. We'll put a fresh battery in it, and I'll do some vaping on it, and we'll see what kind of cloud production we get out of it. Um, thank you. More fun to come.